Hello friends. Today we will discuss the derivation and the discussion of Maxwell's second equation. To start this discussion and the derivation, first of all you must be aware about this magnet. This is a photograph of a bar magnet and you must have done uh, one of the experiments with this magnet and what you must have done in the magnet that su suppose this is a bar magnet and this is the north pole and this is the south pole and one of the methods to do the experiment was to sprinkle the iron fillings and what you have what you must have seen that iron fillings have taken this shape iron fillings have taken this shape okay they they will adjust themselves like this this is the one of the methods uh, to do this experiment another method to do the experiment that is again uh, we will take the bar magnet north pole south pole and if we place a magnetic compass suppose here then the the red point of the compass will be pointed towards this we will place a dot here then we will place a compass here then again dot here towards the north point and dot here and dot here and when you will join these dots made due to the compass you will get this shape now what these lines signify these these lines signify the magnetic lines of force these lines signify the magnetic lines of force and what does it mean that magnetic lines are emitting from one pole and entering into another pole that is magnetic lines magnetic lines emitting from one pole and entering into another pole so what is the resultant magnetic lines of force or magnetic flux outside it is zero because the number of lines of force emitting from one pole is equal to the number of lines of force entering the another pole so resultant magnetic flux is zero now what is magnetic flux magnetic flux is denoted by symbol phi and with subscript h or m that is it is equal to the mathematically close integral of b dot ds close integral of b dot ds b dot ds okay so if i will write here b dot ds then i should write here as b b is magnetic flux density that is the number of magnetic lines of force passing normally through a particular area is known as magnetic flux is known as magnetic flux so this is a simple experiment that you must have done or if you have not done this experiment earlier you can done it yourself just take the iron fillings and sprinkle on the magnet it will take uh, the magnetic uh, the iron fillings will take this shape or if you have the magnetic compass and if you place the magnetic compass and if you will uh, if you will point the dots and then you will join the dots the magnetic lines of force can be drawn okay so what is the statement so statement is that it states that total magnetic flux emerging through a closed surface is zero that is flux is equal to the closed integral of b dot ds closed integral of b dot ds so b is vector here ds is vector here and this is equals to zero so this is the exact diagram that that i was trying to explain to you this equation one is the integral form of a maxwell's second equation okay first equation i have discussed earlier so this is the integral form of Maxwell's second equation. It is also known as Gauss law in magnetism. It is also known as Gauss law in magnetism. This equation also proves that magnetic monopoles do, does not exist. 
magnetic monopole does not exist because if there is only one pole then if one pole is emitting lines of force then where will it enter so there must be two poles one pole to emit the lines of force another pole to to enter the lines of force so magnetic monopole does not exist this is the significance differential form now apply gauss divergence theorem to the equation number 1 i have already explained the divergence theorem in the last video lecture that is this theorem is used to convert the surface integral to volume integral now in this case the equation 1 is this one that is integral of b dot ds equals to 0 so integral of b dot ds after applying the divergence theorem will become del dot b dv so as b dot ds equals to 0 therefore this del dot b dv integral equals to 0 but but integral of dv integral of dv can not be 0 so what is left this del dot b equals to 0 therefore del dot b equals to 0 that is equation 2 is the differential form of maxwell second equation so what is basically del dot b what is basically del dot del dot is divergence divergence means spreading and if it is del dot b it means spread spreading of magnetic lines of force it means divergence of b is zero that is there is no spreading of magnetic lines of force equation 2 is the differential form of maxwell's second equation so significance it is time independent equation it shows that magnetic monopoles do not exist and differential form tells us that divergence is zero there is a basic difference between integral and differential form integral form tells us about the experimental point of view differential form tells us about the theoretical point of view if if you have the equation that is del dot b equals to 0 then you can theoretically tell that there is no spreading of magnetic lines of force so for further reference please search our website also venuscience.com please subscribe click the bell button like and share our channel Thank you. Thanks a lot.